Hi guys, it's Michelle again. Listen, I am going to do a video that shows you how to share pages from your website to social media or in private messages, emails, whatnot. Some of you don't really know how to, and some of you don't even know that there's pages buried in the navigation, so this ought to be a treat. All right, before I do that, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to talk fast because I'm going to try to make it a slow video, but please back it up if you misunderstood me or didn't hear me, whatever. And um, so I'm just going to get going. First, for any of you looking, you'll see these things are showing on my screen. They don't show on yours because when they get released, they will come up here. This is something that's being beta tested right now. Probably you'll see that in the next day or so. But I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm just simply going to talk about um, how to share your pages from your website to people who need the data. Okay, but do you see this section right here? I want to point this out. I have a chance because I've got a platform to talk. Um, this is super important for you. First of all, if you need to reach us, you click this right here and you can get right into our um, place where, where Heather and I both watch all the time. If you have a question, if you have concern or feedback, that's the fastest, best way to do it. We love your comments in Facebook, but if you need help, I suggest you do this. These are links right here. This is a link to a frequently asked questions. And in this section here, probably all the questions you have on your mind have already been answered. Directions and help videos right here. If you want to have directions on how to blog or how to set up your affiliate account or how to personalize your website or how to change the image on your website or how to find a free image for your website. It's right here. You're going to find it there. Facebook user group. That's just if you haven't joined, you click there and join. Now this is a new thing I've added. News that affects your website. If all of a sudden something's missing from your website or you think it should be there but it's not, check right here first because it could be something happening at Young Living's side that we have acted upon and it's maybe no longer on your website for some reason. I know there's two of those in there right now. Right here's recent updates. This is something you want to watch. Check in here. Let's sign into your back office on occasion and see. We have a lot of little updates that are coming here over the next two or three days, and most of them will be put here. A little further down, you can find out what's actually in development, but that's where you get all your data here. Watch your emails because we send out an email every week giving you advice and new information. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go right here, view my site. I could click this link and share it with the whole world, or I could use these share links to share it right here. That'd be the whole website. But in this case, just click here to view it. Okay, here we go. I got to be faster. Okay, you guys notice at the top here, this is called navigation. When you hover your mouse over these things, more things show up. Um, when you go down, this is a page. This is a page, page, it's page, but this one had an arrow. It has other pages in it. This one has an arrow, has other pages in it. Now maybe you want to share this page right here with your team or your new customer, or you want to send this out to a brand new customer, Essential Rewards. Or maybe somebody's asking you, well, what's a starter kit? Right here, there's that page. Let's go ahead and show you how to share what's a starter kit. Let's just pull that page right up. Now, this page, whoops, this is for our demo site, obviously. Now, this is the page. Now, you see this button right here? It says Share. When I click that, it's going to bring me to the bottom of the page. And when I get to the bottom of the page, here are the Share buttons. This one is a Copy the Link. It's now copied. I can share by right-click, paste, anywhere I want. But right now, I'm only going to talk about this button for just now. Click that button. It's going to open up your Facebook. And now it, op it populates it right there for you. You can say something like, check out, check out these inexpensive ways to get started with essential oils. I don't know. I mean, I'm just writing something fast. Definitely be more creative than me. At this point, you can share it. It's checkmarked to share on your own newsfeed. 
and it's checkmarked to be public. You can make it friends only, whatever you want to do by just clicking on there. You might only want it to go to only your friends. That's fine. Just click that. Or you can have it go to your story and go to your timeline. I think you can choose both. For those of you who use it a lot, you may do that. Up here, here's a little button that's really interesting. This gives you options of how to share. So on Facebook, they say you can share it to your newsfeed and story or either one. You can share it on a friend's wall. You can share it in a group, your group, other groups. You can share it in an event. You can share it on a page, like one of your business pages. Or you can click this one and type in the name of one of your friends on your friends list and send it as a private message. Right now, I'm just going to show you how this shares to your wall. So I'm going to click post and it's going to go away and I know that it's done. So how do we know it's done? Well, let's check. Let's refresh this. I'm using Arian Essenti's post, Facebook, looky here. It's posted right here. Is that nice? That is so nice. And you don't have to have any links or anything in this right here because this is all a link. And when you click on this link, or when somebody clicks on that link, they go to your website, your page, and now they can find out about the starter kits and they can say, oh, wow, this one might be good for me. If they resonate with one, they just click the button. It takes them to that starter kit. They can see what's in it, how much it costs. They can click right here and go order. Now this one takes them out to Young Living to sign up. Anyway, I'm getting beside myself. Let's do something else. Let's go to shop. Let's go to your catalog. Go to the product catalog. Now this button here is your best friend. I'm sorry, these buttons. This category search, I can search for a specific item here and that works pretty well. But if I want a whole category of items, I probably want to click here. So I'm going to click all the thieves products. Boom. Oh, this is the one I want to share. So I'm going to click read more. And my share buttons are at the top in the product catalog. Product catalog is really good, gives you lots of info, but I need to share that one. So in my scenario, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to copy the link, just pretend I like that better, and I'm going to go to my own Facebook, which is Erin Essenti. don't know what all this is too much. I'm going to click here, right click, paste. I'm going to wait for it to fetch the preview. There it is. It's gorgeous. I'm going to get rid of this now. Just backspace it out. Say something else. These thieves wipes. Oops, I see a space. Never leave home without them. Now I'm just not being real creative here. I'm just trying to show you how to do these things. Now I got rid of the, the link. Don't need it. And now I'm going to go ahead and share it on my newsfeed right here. I could send it to my uh, timeline, sure, and post. Story, I meant story. Now, oh, okay, hmm, I've probably never done that. So that wasn't too important, it was just a Facebook thing. So now I've shared Thieves Wipes on my Facebook page. If somebody wants to know about them, they click it, it boom, it brings them to your website, your catalog, and if they want to order them, they can click here and find out how to order them. They can become a member. Well, what does that mean? Well, right here, they could learn more about that and about membership. Or if they just want to buy at retail, they can go here. And a nice new little thing here, current members click here to order. So if you have somebody on your team you're trying to share products with, they can still click the order now. And this will take them to the sign-in screen for their virtual office to make an order. I'm really telling you a lot of stuff right now. I want you to know that every single one of these pages share the same way. I'm on the page. I click share. It takes me to the bottom. This one is de determined to do this, but I must have clicked Pinterest by accident. If you do Twitter, you just do it to Twitter. I'm, I'm not going to show that one on here. This will open up your email program. I don't really, you know, I don't like that button, but that's me. I would just click here, open my email, start writing, and right-click paste. But this thing, you can actually send this out to whoever. This is what it looks like. 
This is your website title, whatever yours is. This is what you need to know about tainted essential oils. So important to know, but only, whoops, only if you want results. This video is 10 minutes now and I'm about to be in trouble. So then I would just go here, post it to Facebook. And I'm going to go ahead and look at that really quick because I want you to see how nice it looks on Facebook. So we're going to go here, just go ahead and refresh it. And bam, right there. So important to know when they click it, they're taken to your website right there right to you right up here okay guys I went way over I'm sorry I hope that this has been a very valuable video especially for many of you who really don't know how to use your website this is a key way to use your website alrighty guys talk to you soon <laughs> bye